Yo, what's up, bro? Throwing down another 1950 challenge conquest. I decided, hey, Iran's been in the news lately. I haven't played with Iran yet, so let's throw it down. I, I've, I've done some calculations here. If we get Doubting down, throw him on that city. By round two, we can afford a King Tiger with the Munstein. And then uh, he's going to have to... He's going to have to put in some work. Because we're not going to get be able to get another elite unit down for a while. And we got all the Soviets coming in on us. So, a, it could get interesting. Real quick though, before we get too far into this, I got to give a shout out, boom, to the member bros, especially those emperors and field marshals. Emperor Adam A, field marshals, Sugar Bear, YT, and Tricky3452, along with all you other colonels and privates. Thank you once again for supporting the channel. It truly helps out. And uh, yeah, many thanks. So, I, I was a little bit pissed off, right? Because I was I was preparing to play the Stalingrad event on hard. This was a few days ago. So, and I looked the prior day. I looked the prior day. It said I had two days left. I was like, OK, I'm going to play it tomorrow. Tomorrow comes around, which again was like two days ago, and it's gone. It was like Easy Tech was just like, yeah, two days, whatever. Uh, it's It's gone. So I didn't even, we're going to have to wait till it comes back around again. I didn't even get a chance to play it. I didn't even get, I didn't even get a chance to attempt it. I didn't even get a chance to lose to it. So yeah, we'll, we'll be looking forward to that. As far as the Western Desert campaign, I have played all the way through it on hard. I just haven't uploaded all the missions yet. Um, they're not edited. I'll try to get a couple up a day or maybe one up a day. I know I didn't even I don't think I got one up today, though. All right, ally goes down or uh, not ally. Shit, you know why I said ally? Because right before this, I was playing with the Soviet Union. I was about to do my first WTO. And I was thinking, OK, well, I know it's going to take longer than NATO, but since the Soviet Union is spread out everywhere, we should be able to get down really quick. I was like an hour and a half in. I was just like, this is I don't want to make this video today. I, I'm on limited time. And so I was just like, I'm gonna have to do a NATO country. And so here we are NATO countrying it up. So I think what we will try to do you know, pretty much like we always do infantry to Africa, maybe with an air bro to help out. And um, the first few, I'm thinking I need I'm trying to decide here because I think like when I play, I think I played with Greece, didn't I? And I played with Turkey. Or maybe not Greece, but definitely Turkey. But we we went up through the Caucasus, right? And then we um, then we headed east. I think I need a bro to get an early start on China. And so I don't know if that's going to be Guderian or Munstein. We'll get this figured out. Another WTO country bites it. Thailand gets a Mula. Or should I say, boom! I really want Monstein to go. Yeah, I think Monstein needs to go into China. Guderian can actually Guderian can go north from where he's at and clear that side. Is that the Caspian? Damn, my allies are going off. Yeah, he goes can go east of the Caspian, and our other bros will just go up through the Caucasus. Once we start taking a few more countries here. Not enough income we can get down on elite unit each round. Ooh. Ally goes down. Boom! You go slowly down. Ooh, 
nice Monstein. Very good Monstein. I don't know if I'll need any um, naval units. I don't think I will. So we see what happens with Japan. It gets ran over, but the U.S. comes in, retakes it, so I shouldn't have to worry about that. Helicopters down. We're good on that. Einstein, absolute beast. Okay, that should be some decent money around. Especially once we take Stalingrad. I'll just let my allies work on Africa and then kind of, you know, if they fail, I'll go down there. If they're doing decent, I might just do take out what's left of there. Alright, now Munchstein heads east. We'll get the rest of our elite tank bros, probably out of uh, Stalingrad. Couple north. A couple heading east. Your daring placement already paying off. Boom! Romania goes down. So, I'm curious if any of you guys, and throw it in the comments, beat Stalingrad on hard. I know it is going to be pretty damn hard, but I don't think it's unbeatable. I mean, I'm pretty sure it would have t taken me a couple takes. I think the hardest hard event so far defensively that took the most takes. I'm trying to think here, the defensive ones. Pulling on hard really wasn't that hard. Mm. Marginal line one wasn't that hard either on hard. I'm thinking it was Mannerheim line on hard. Not the hard it is now. I swear they nerfed it. It's not near as hard now, but it like when it first came out on hard, it was it was definitely hard. Yeah, I swear they nerfed it though. I swear they've nerfed some of these. Even though the Marginal Line one wasn't that hard on hard when it came out, I think they nerfed it as well. And it's been forever since I played the Barbarossa one. But the last time I did on hard, it kind of seemed like it had, was nerfed, especially at the last three stages. Because remember, Stalingrad was probably the hardest one, and then Moscow was pretty hard too. I feel like they nerf them and, and don't even list that in the in any change log. And then as far as the um, the events with multiple missions on hard, that probably would have been. It probably was Barbarossa. The final two missions. Boom! Poland goes down. Yeah, the final two missions were pretty hard. That would be my choices, but I, I might be forgetting one. I'm pretty sure on the Finland one, as far as the defensive event, but the, the, the mission, the multi-mission ones, I'm... I don't think I'm forgetting one that's hard. I know we had like the Alaska one that wasn't that hard. The Pacific one wasn't that hard. Yeah, I think it has to be the Barbarossa one. Get us a good foothold there so we can start spamming some infantry bros. Because it doesn't look like my allies are going to be doing that good a job. 
And it looks like my allies are holding up against the Chinese over there. Damn, the De Gaulle! The Gaulle's going off! Actually, you know what? When I was playing with the Soviet Union, I think De Gaulle was like the general to fear the most. Surprisingly. So I went ahead and, um,. I added Germany. So I didn't have to deal with any of those generals. Yeah, it was the Gaul. The Gaul was. The Gaul can do some massive damage. In that damn purr. That doesn't let him get destroyed and have one health. Damn, he took Moscow. Yeah, I'm telling you, the Gaul's on a whole nother level. Well, Rommel, you get the crapper unit. It is what it is, Rommel. So I keep looking for... I've been looking in the store every day to see if they're selling um, the batons or the swords. I don't see... I haven't seen any since, since the uh, update had just came out and it gave it to you free. I haven't seen any. I missed a few days early on, but like since definitely since I upgraded Bach, I haven't seen any in the store. I would definitely buy some because I want to give you guys that Bach upgrade. I want to give you guys God Bach. Even more so for you than myself. I must have God Bach. The T44 is so bad. Like, when I was playing the Soviet Union, I didn't even put down my generals on the T-44. I just put them on the Super Heavies. So, such a waste. What a, they need to do something with the T-44. It needs a buff. That thing is absolute crap. I don't know. Maybe maxed out. It's a beast, but I think we would know by now. At the level we're at, I think we should know by now if it's good or not. I know I built the I built the Canadian bro for the walking Stuka, but I think those might be besides the American bro, the only generals I put down on artillery. So Canadian bro's not gonna get down. So I see towards the end of October. Lucas's game's coming out. I have... I have seen bits and pieces of the previews he's put up. The name completely escapes me right now. What the hell is that game called? Um... You know what? I am... I am completely... I'm completely brain dead right now. I can't even think of the name of the game. Anyways, you guys can, uh... Obviously, you guys know what I'm talking about. Damn, my allies did, um... Did pretty well. Did we take Japan? Japan always gets wrecked so easy. Japan needs a buff. And I think pretty much all years. Japan gets utterly obliterated. Very good monster. I'm still trying to think of the... Boom! North Korea goes down. I'm still trying to think of that the name of that game. Oh, it's gonna drive me crazy. Whenever I can't think of any uh, of something, I do not look at Google. I sit there and I destroy my brain until I figure it out. Age of Civilization, or was that the old? Remember, it switched names. 
could be the old name. Anyways, it's the third version. Damn it. You know what I'm talking about now for sure. Noise boom among it goes down. Alright, this this rap is coming quick. But yeah, as I was saying before I couldn't remember the name of the uh, game, I'm going to... I'm going to buy it. Um, the only problem is it looks so in-depth now. Like, sometimes you like a game kind of like World Conquer, where it's just quick and there's not all these, you know, religions and marriages and all that shit. Sometimes you just want to get through a conquest relatively quickly. I don't think there's marriages in that game. I don't think I've seen... I don't think there is. That's more Crusader Kings. Remember that game I bought? Compared to Rome? I got pissed off because... I wonder if they ever fixed that, or if that's just the way it was meant to be, but you could... You would fight a huge nation, completely demolish them, and get like a third of the territory and have to fight them like three times. That's why I quit playing that game. I like the game itself, but that aspect of the game pissed me off. I didn't want to fight the same country three damn times. I like the game though. I don't know how many of you guys liked it. I don't think... I'm trying to think of how well it went over. I don't think... I don't know. I don't think you guys liked it too much. But yeah, that's my main bitch about it. It's kind of like, remember... When Age of Civilization 2 came out and, um before the before a patch and one unit could get behind your lines and absolutely make your life hell it could capture everything just one unit and remember the patch was like it made it have to be what was it, like 5 or 10 20 units it would take to have to capture that pissed me off those were the dark times. Alright, we are good. Get some air coverage in there. Boom! Egypt go- I don't- Oh yeah, they had that port. I was like, where in the hell was Egypt? Alright, so maybe- what are we looking at? Two more rounds? I can't even reach. I wish I would more often. I always forget to just put down my generals for the sake of the general files. Because I still got generals that I haven't come. Boom! China goes down. I haven't completed all the. Um, you know, all the. Destroy all the enemies, complete so many conquests to get the extra medals. Actually, there's, there's probably a decent amount I haven't done yet. And those are some easy medals. All right, bros. Looks like two more rounds, because actually, if our bros can take that... We'll open that dock up. Maybe our bros can take it in between. I'm gonna put faith in you, bros. We got one dock left. 
It's weird playing with Iran as a uh, ally. Feels feels weird. All right, let's see what my rose do. Boom! And 28. Nice. All right, bros. I'm going to wrap this up. If you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap the like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I will see you back here for next upload. Peace. Bruminati out.